Perfekt. if you can tell but I'm not a morning person I mean yeah I want to do something today because the last few days I did nothing so I thought today would be a good day to start a new art technique a friend of mine has her birthday this week actually today I need to call her <laughs> okay so yeah, the beer garden where I was a few days ago is a place where we met super often and I thought it could be a cute little gift to make a little collage of this beer garden. And I found an artist that made a video about her way to collage and I think I'll just follow her tips and do something out of it. I will put her video up here somewhere. I don't know where, but... So first of all, I need to paint paper. Yeah, that's the plan. to work a little bit longer but actually I don't have enough to do today so I did work a little bit less than originally planned and I still have one hour left before I need to go meet up with a friend so let's do the collage because yesterday I was so impatient I wanted to start with a collage right away but the sheets were not dry, so I dried them all with a hairdryer and it took me, I don't know, one hour, I think? And after that one hour of hair drying every sheet, I just didn't have the motivation anymore to do a collage. <laughs> so yeah, let's just start and not think too much because if I'm starting to think too much, I will get too much in my head. So let's just start. today I really don't know what I'm doing here I think I need to stick the background down before I get any further because I'm getting a little bit frustrated that the paper is rolling itself up it, it's my first time collaging so I'm trying not to get too much in my head it's fine I'm just leaving it right there and see if I see something else tomorrow that I can change up before I glue it down.
Okay, good morning. It's the next day. I was too lazy to get out my camera. So you get less quality here. I need to work today for my everyday job. And then I think I will manage to glue down the collage before I go out with Tula. Yeah, and that's it for now. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> She's way too awake. I'm too tired for that. <laughs> I know you want to play, but it's coffee time, Tula. It's not playtime. later i didn't film yesterday i saw my best friend i had a super chill day and today is saturday and it's super gloomy outside so what a better day to make art i want to get finished with this collage i hope it will turn out good because she's in her ugly phase i am really trying my best here we'll see so I glued down a little part yesterday and I think it was a good decision because now it's laying a little bit more flat. So yeah, let's just see if we can get some details in and how it will look when it's done. Okay, so for the finishing details of this collage, I thought it would be nice to have a little podcasty voiceover moment because I always appreciate it when other artists I'm watching on YouTube are doing it. So why not do it myself? I want to talk a little bit about art style and my latest thoughts about it. Because I think that having an art style actually led me into an art block. I was in it for more or less six months. Having an art style is like something that we all try to, in a way, achieve. But I'm starting to think about it as something that restrains me. Like, it limits the things that I can do. And for a long time, Instagram was the only platform I was using. And Instagram's algorithm is like consistency and not just consistency in how often you post, but also in what you post. So it kind of limited what I thought I could post there. And I mean, don't get me wrong. When I found my art style, I was so thrilled. I thought, okay, this is my personality for the rest of my life. <laughs> but of course it's not the way it goes. I'm an artist and I want to experiment. I want to have fun with art. I want to try new things and not everything is always fitting into the style that I found. And I still love the style, but I got the feeling that I was just doing it to please the algorithm of Instagram and to have something to post. And that's a really bad place to be in when you want to be creative because you want to have your ideas flowing and not be limited by the thought, oh gosh, is this postable? Can I show that? And I just didn't have fun anymore making art. So yeah, I think in a way starting this YouTube channel has been kind of therapeutic for me. 
I started out with a studio makeover and actually the comments of you guys on this very first video gave me the impression that I can share a lot more about myself and my art journey and that it is less about my art style, less about my skills and more about the person behind the art. And yeah, it just made me feel relieved. I'm out of the art block, I'm thriving, I'm making art, I'm loving it and it may be not as good but who cares? So big 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 thank you for that. I think it was enough of me talking so let's just go back to the actual footage. <laughs> So ready. Focus. Really feeling like a vlogger now. <laughs>